lineup as the starter for the third match in a row now, replacing the freshman Batenhorst. Of course, Alexi Rodriguez, the freshman brothers, will look at John Cook, 22nd season. Kind of a season of runs for Coach Cook. Lost three in a row out of conference for the first time since 91. Lost three of four in conference to ranked opponents. Terps started off with a serve that is just long. Kenzie Knuckles in to serve. And a bit of a different start here for the Huskers, rotationally. I was going to say, just the changing of the matchup kind of moving that rotation a little bit to try and get a better matchup. As we talked about, that big block is going to be huge, and so making sure you have the best advantage or line matchups will be key. Swing by Raynell Jones is long. No touch called. Nebraska's point. The Huskers open up the match with two straight here. Kenzie Knuckles has done a terrific job from the service line this year. Runs several points. You think back to that game at Minnesota where she ran 10 straight on the road. Rolled over, handled by Haynes. Goes off the block and a kill by Raynell Jones. Jones, again, one of those very athletic middles we've talked about. Um, what a great blocker she is, but she also works hard in that transition to get up. And again, you'll see her appearing in and they'll push the ball to her when they have the opportunity. Bump set out the pin and off of the tough first touch for Nebraska. Maryland is even at two. And really key is again that first contact and making sure get, getting um, good control of that ball, stepping in and putting it in a position for Hames to run the offense. Help pass again there and Kubik is pinched against the net. And there is that block of Raynell Jones, who averages 1.72 per set. And, and again, when you're tight like that, that block just clamps down on top of it and really makes it difficult for you to do anything as an attacker. That's sent back over by Jones, who hung long enough. Cubic shoot high hands there, just missed. And then that one off the swing of Nechapruka from the left pin is wide. Nechapruka just 5'9 mm -hmm. from that left pin, but she'll get a lot of swings out there, Kathy. A lot of swings, and again, she works really hard in that back row, too, as far as the defensive play. She does a great job on both sides of the ball. Bump set out to Nechapruka again. Good dig in the back row. Tip of the middle, not down. Back up off the ground is Haynes to bump set it out to the pin, and the block is there, but Great so is Lexi coverage. Rodriguez. That block definitely just keeps stopping the Huskers. There's a nice swing by Krause. Longest rally here early on, and Krause gets the kill. As we spoke, again, the block is really one of those things that's going to continue to challenge the attackers on the Husker side of the net. They just get their hands on the ball. They're out there. They do a great job closing. Finding a way will be important. They rolled out the black Terry Pettit court for this one against the Terps. As that swing from the right hand is well wide for the Huskers. Ricks really comes in hard and just missed that just wide. But she's one of those hitters from that, that pin, the right side pin that really can, again, do some great things. Big block on the right side for the Huskers. Stiverin's doing a great job getting out and close. Krause steps in and takes that hard angle away. And again, just look at that reach over, ceiling closing off the net by Stiverens. And the ace for Rodriguez, Lexi Rodriguez with her 11th of the season. Great control of the ball, just dropping that ball in that front short corner, right on top of the attackers there. You can see uh, in their serve receive, they're pinched in and tight over on that right side. 
Early on here, Nebraska hitting negative 111. Maryland at negative 273. <laughs> Block is getting to both of them and another hitting error on Nebraska, and that hitting percentage will drop even further after that swing. So negative 273 here early. Kathy for Maryland, Nebraska negative 200. Yeah. Um, hitting errors, and again, I, I would say for Maryland, it's that big block that is making a difference in Nebraska's hitting efficiency. But Maryland actually has made some of their own errors in their swings in the match so far. There it is again, swing wide. Key here, too, is the Huskers need to pass the ball, give the um, game some options. Right now, every ball is having to go outside because there aren't any options. Great pass there in system, and Stivrens closes out the point. Couldn't have queued that up any better, that yeah. great pass, and that's the opportunities you have. And look at all that space that Stivrens has. One blocker, lots of court for her to swing at. You can see right before that point, Coach Cook, too, saying pass the ball. <laughs> Was frustrated yep. with the first touch for the Huskers here early. Swing is wide. So both teams right now, Kathy, with one kill. <laughs> Check that Maryland with two, Nebraska with one kill in the match. Not, not a very clean start Ooh. so far. And both teams really coming off, if I'm correct, a, um, a week of training here. Um, so had the opportunity to Spend some time in the gym and. Good tip there by Stiverance on the slide. It was well past her, but she pulls it back in and gets it around Hannah Thompson. That's what she does so well. She's so athletic and can get to the ball even if it's not an ideal position. She's able to get there and do make a play on it. Kana with the serve. No touch there. Dechaparuka is long. And the Terrapins will take a timeout. Nebraska. Well, Lauren Stiverance here early on, two swings, two kills, hitting 1,000 for Nebraska. The Huskers lead it 11-5, despite as a team, Kathy hitting negative 077. Yeah, this really hasn't been a clean start for either team um, as we've come out this evening, and um, both of them, I'm sure, in that timeout, trying to regroup and trying to get on track here. Keanu Leacana, boy, good float serve there, a lot of movement to it. Row, Knuckles, and there's the kill for Kinsey Knuckles out of the back row. Just that other wrinkle in the offense using Knuckles in the back row. And Hames doesn't hesitate, and Knuckles just love that she's ready and again driving in, pursuing that ball. Nebraska right now on a 5 0 scoring run, tip there. So again, Knuckles and got it back-to-back -back <laughs> kills for Kinsey Knuckles. Again, you got to find ways to get production, and Knuckles is right now is stepping in and doing exactly what they need her to do. Triple block, so trying to cut those angles off, but she still finds a way. Most kills already for Knuckles over her last six matches. She hadn't had more than one in six consecutive. In fact, her hitting percentage over the last six matches has dropped by 50 points. Oscar is good to see her get going here early. Out to Kubik, who tried the angle out there. But Chapuk has already has seven swings, no kills for Maryland, and that is no touch point for the Perps. Peruka does a great job on the outside. As you mentioned, she's only 5'9". She jumps really well. She's explosive. And they really, again, can count on her um, out of system as well. There 
There's Kubik getting in system. Good swing on it, got on top through the block. Addie Kubik, that's her first kill of the match. Four errors, hitting negative 273. She's coming off one of her better performances of the year. And she hitting 400 against Ohio State in that loss to the Buckeyes. 18 kills, and again, really your all-around play. I mean, she really gave everything she had in that match to try and get that win. And um, seven digs, two blocks, an ace serve. So really a very complete game by Patty Kubik. She just continued to get better through this season. We've talked about in conference play has really stepped up. Lewis with the roll shot out of the back is not down. Check out that was Sire out of the back. This time, Mecha not down. Kubik back row. Off the block, touch, and Kubik with her second kill. You know, the back row attack has really been effective here. They've, um, the Terps have put up a triple block, but just the timing and the adjustment there um, hasn't worked, and Nebraska has been being able to profit off of it. Seven. Sisters together here, and that's fun. And the ace right inside that back line. 8-1, Nebraska run. Great serve, ball dropped right at that baseline. Again, keeping the pressure on with the serve is critical. First service error of the match for Nebraska. Back now to serve for the Terrapins is Nechapruka. Out of whole big Latvia. Sire right there, that ball comes up. And again, Nebraska ball handling. Um, not very clean right now and fed that one up right to Sam Sire. Sire leads the way for the Terps in kills per set. She has three and a half per set, and that is for Sire her first kill of this first set. There is Lexi's son. There is Sire again. No touch, and Sire's long. Back to serve now. For Nebraska, Lauren Stiverance, who's seen more time from the service line here over the last four matches. Mm -hmm. Just again, she's got a tough serve, and just her leadership out on the court for a few more rotations, I think, has been a, a positive plus. Two fantastic back-to-back -back digs by Malign Gamillion. Gamillion is just a freshman, mm -hmm. and it leads to the point from Sire, but Gomillion, one of the top liberos in the league in just her freshman year. Yeah, she actually is leading the league right now in um, digs per set. Um, she's just been phenomenal, and we, we talked about some great freshman liberos out on, in the conference. Um, she is definitely one of them, averaging 4.78 digs per set, so incredible numbers. It's not often you'll see Kayla Caffey have an opportunity on an overpass to put one down, <laughs> and the bro, the bro has an opportunity to get it back up, which is what Gavillian did. There is Kubik out of the back row with the kill. You know, talking about great defensive players, too. Rodriguez has really been a big boost to the defensive play of Nebraska this year, and again, complimenting um, Knuckles, but for moving from that position to a defensive specialist and able to capitalize on both of them out on the court. Good pass by Gamillion. Ball was, lift was called on Nebraska. And it was that block again that led to the point. They're just so solid again. Look at them working together. Look at that great penetration and, and sealing of the net. They just basically cap uh, kind of a roof right on top of that ball. Knuckles back into serve for Nebraska. 19-10 here in the first. Maryland had that signature win earlier this year to open up Big Ten Conference play. 
One of just two teams in the conference to beat Wisconsin this year. The other being Purdue. Purdue and Wisconsin play again tonight. And that swing is long, no touch. Nebraska up by 10 and the first team to 20. And despite that signature win though, Kathy, they've, they've struggled against some of the top, at least the top half of the league on the road. They're 0 and 12 in sets against the top half of the Big Ten on the road. Yeah, their conference record is six and eight, you know, um, and actually they came out of preseason undefeated, yeah. you know, and then rolled in with, with Wisconsin, and so um, early off to a good start, but they've had kind of, as you mentioned, some struggles along the way against those good teams. Raynell Jones with the kill. Getting 285 of a year. Two kills per set. Back to Krause. Lindsey Krause picks up the kill. Her second kill of you in the match and, and just working pin to pin and that's really what Nebraska needs to do to keep that block off balance. Got to have options and make those middles work um, the whole width of the net. Over pass and the kill once again by Maddie Kubik. Kubik sitting with four kills. She's had a lot of attempts early on at a system and, and she's now just again evened herself up right at that zero hitting percentage. But we're seeing things start to loosen up a little bit with a little better passing and um, using various attackers. Good smart shot by Krause. <laughs> Just brushes it off the block. So that is actually Krause's uh, second kill. She pushes it off the net, uses that big block, and that's what you got to do. Oh, she's got actually um, Neka Por Porca Peruca. Let me get it right here. Necha Peruca. Necha Peruca <laughs> using her hands. It's a smaller blocker up there, and again, that's the right place to go and attack. Well, what a swing there by Cubic. Like it might have gone off of Dowler's head. Let's watch it again. <laughs> and on top of it, maybe yep. that elbow. Set point here for Nebraska. Nitsha Peruka couldn't quite get behind that ball and, and get it over. So first set goes to the Huskers. Nebraska wins it easily. He is the number one ranked player in the country. And you see everybody else with uh, sisters playing somewhere else. Of course, Lauren Stiverin's sister Amber was in here earlier this year when Georgia came to town to play Nebraska. Amber would have loved to play against her sister Lauren, but Lauren was still out at that time. It's a hand on that, puts it right in the middle. Great job by Kathy. Just get her hand on the ball, knowing where that open area was at middle of the courts open, but just good ball control there. You can just see her um, get her hand on that ball, and she does so well. Again, there's a lot of space here. The defense is out um, and deep. Just laid it right in. Good serve, second touch, aggressive setter is Dowler. She's not afraid to attack, averages nearly a kill per set, hits about 300, and that's a kill for the Terps. Set number one was a set of runs for Nebraska. They went on a 5-0 run, which included later a 7-1 run, and then Nebraska closed out the first set on a 5-0 run as well to win it 25-11. Here's Sun swinging from the right side, back down. In the middle of Kathy. Into the net called on Nebraska. Krause brushed the net point for the Terps. That's 
Layla Ricks from the right side. Now back to serve, here's Sydney Dowler, the sophomore setter out of Cary, North Carolina. Green Hope High School. Averages 10 assists per set, and as we said, not afraid to be aggressive offensively. Good size for a setter, six foot. Here's Dowler pushing it out to the pin, and Sire with the kill. Sire on that outside, again, an opportunity to kind of work <clears throat> from that position. She's been blocked, slowed down a little bit, but a great swing there. There's a good swing by Alexi Sun. Great tempo on that yep. set out to the pin. The key to that was that tempo, and Nebraska's really got to keep that tempo at that high rate. Um, you can see the blocker, it can't get close, can't get all the way out to the pin, and leaves a nice hole in space. First kill for Lexi Sun of the match, but has had no hitting errors. Had 11 swings, no errors, one kill. Off the top of the block, and there is Sire again. They're having much better luck with Sire on the left side than they are Necha Baruka. And Sire, again, leads this team with averaging three and a half kills per set, just kind of getting her in system, and, the, and she's just a little bigger on that outside, too, at six foot. There's Krause unloads, but no touch. And so Lindsey Krause, who has struggled over the last few matches for Nebraska, will take a quick seat, and into the game is Whitney Lonstein. Lonstein out of Waverly. Good tip in the middle. Kathy doing a great job getting up and getting involved in the offense. That's her second kill. But again, Haynes pulled off the net. She still finds a way to move away from her and still get up there and get in position. Short serve by Rodriguez. Overpass. Cubic. Right there to finish it up. But key on that was that great serve by Rodriguez. She, she's working that short spot up in the right front. You got both hitters pinched in over to the side. You've got Dowler over there. And she's really trying to cause a little disruption in that space. Better pass there in system. Got it to Jones and Raynell Jones with another kill. She has four now, tied for the lead for the Terps. She just does a tremendous job, I think, up at the net, um, getting in, involved in the offense. And Dowler likes to feed it to her. Anytime she has the opportunity, she doesn't hesitate to get her, and Jones really delivers. Wants to pull that set from outside the pin back in and got a swing on it. Out of the back row, Sire blasts one. Five kills for Sam Sire. Great sing, swing there by Sire. Going at Haynes again, making her play that ball. And here in set number two, a much more efficient and productive offense from the Terps. They're hitting 462 early on in the second. That'll slow the roll a little bit as Stibbons gets the block. Neka Peruka. It's just is in trouble there with Stiverens coming up closing. You can just see she sits right on top of that ball, doesn't, and takes all the angle away. Necha Peruka, who averages nearly three kills per set for Maryland, has yet to put one down. Six attack errors on 19 swings. She's hitting negative 316. And again, mentioned off the top, which improved to just 5-9. But it's been effective in the Big Ten Conference. Talk about being effective. Maddie Kubik right there, that her seventh kill. Works hard, that ball's inside. You can see she's passing and this stays in. The block stays in, which gives her some lane on that outside to work with. Cubic warming up here in set number two. You mentioned she started out with the four, er four hitting errors. 
Well, there's a tough serve by Yanni Leakana and the kill by Sire again. Sire really starting to get involved in the offense a little bit more. She had a nice run through the front row. Now they've utilized her in the back row a few times just because Necha Peruka is having a hard time um, being successful up there. Need to go somewhere else. Right into the block again. That time it's Hannah Thompson who averages better than a block per set. Thompson coming in and working hard, um, getting to that outside. Look at, again, they do such a great job as a team, going up together with the setup and then the close. Just well executed. Another bad first touch by Nebraska. Overpass. And there's the first kill for Necha Peruka. Nebraska kind of coming together there after that play, just kind of talking, trying to get themselves organized. Coach Cook says, we need a timeout. Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, 10-6 in the second. Maryland on top. Once again, a sold-out crowd here at the Demandy Sports Center. Those around the top of the arena are standing room only seats, and Nebraska's been averaging two or three hundred per match of standing room only sales. Of course, for it's a hot ticket. I'm just. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny, you just hear so many people just, I wish I could get a ticket, I wish I could get in. Well, they lead the nation in attendance, 8,190, 8,190 per match is what Nebraska averages. The top three teams in the national averages all in the Big Ten Conference. Wisconsin is number two in the country at 75. 40, Minnesota is number three. Big drop down to 51-20. Penn State also in the top six in the nation in attendance. Not only is the best volleyball in the country played right here in the conference, also the most well attended matches in the nation. Great hands on the ball there by Hayne stepping in. Lexi's son with a smart shot. And out of the timeout, Nebraska's rattled off three in a row. Just a great job there by Sun to come in and make that play and then work to get back outside so she could make um, a strong uh, attack. Sun two kills in her last two swings. Back row, Sire not down. Go right back to Sun again. And that time into the block. And once again, Hannah Thompson gets the hand on it. Hannah Thompson and Dowler right there. Oh, you know, looks Dowler like Dowler's down. hands on that one. And the ace. Is just it, it just seems like some tentative, uh, you know, in serve receives um, players not stepping in, just calling that ball and taking charge with the ball. Necha Peruka with a terrific serve there. That's her 26th ace of the year to lead the Terps. Overpass it is not down. Right back to Sun again off the high hands. And then Sire just long, and there was no touch. Third, make it second service error on Nebraska. So both teams now with two service errors. Nebraska with two aces to Maryland's one. Lexi Finnerty, junior out of Encinitas, California to serve. One pass, then on the slide is Kathy. Up to Sire, who tried to go line, and that's why. Sire. 
coming off a, a great stretch to the back row here, then a couple airs as she rolls right up into the front row again. Sawyer's hitting percentage is right around that 160 mark. Just hit some inconsistent. Wide, long, check out long and no touch off the swing. Whitney Lonstein with the hitting error, her first. There's Lonstein exploding on that. Great dig again by the freshman Gamilia. Right into the block. They'll go to her again. Off the top of the block. She's getting some good swings. Mm -hmm. Doing a nice job. It's great floor defensive block touches right now from Maryland. There's Kathy punching it over. Sire keeps it alive. And then into the net goes Sire, and the long rally goes Nebraska's way. Yeah. Just a remarkable play by the freshman Malign Gamillion out of Bowie, Maryland. Look at that up. She just does a great job tracking ball and getting that good platform behind it. Again, it's good liberos just have a sense. Their feet are quick in their placement, but as well as, again, their bodies, they keep a position and know where they are with that court. Knuckles serve is long. Two service errors here in set number two on Nebraska. But there is Gomillion. Leads the league, as we said earlier, in digs per set. As a freshman, she's at 4.78. She's a big, big 10 um, freshman of the week twice already this season. Uh, early on, really made her presence known out on the court. There she was again off another strong swing from Lonstein. I really like Lonstein coming in, being aggressive, big swings. Right now, Maryland's block is showing up here in set number two. And not only are they getting that stuff block, but they're also getting their hands on ball, slowing it down, letting the defense. That's a successful block. Everybody obviously notices these um, big termination blocks. They're doing a lot of great things. That got in on the hands a bit on Raynell Jones and fell on the turp side. Back to within three are the Huskers. And despite hitting in this set, 97 and negative 30 for the match. <laughs> Terps up by three. There's a great dig by Rodriguez. Right inside the line, terrific angle by Maddie Kubik. You know, you gotta talk about that defense though by Rodriguez, pops it up and allowed Nebraska to run that tempo a little bit quicker. Jones doesn't have a chance to close, or she's floating, isn't up solid. And Cubic takes advantage. Another short serve. Dowler has to chase it down. And then into the block and the kill for Nechapuruka. Right on the back line, first kill for Whitney Lonstein. Lonstein doing a great job. She's come in, she's been strong, she's been aggressive. Um, I really like, again, her playing out there, not tentative, and comes up with this first kill. There is Lonstein, 6'2", freshman out of Waverly. Including this class, this year of John Cook's recruits. It's three straight athletes out of Waverly High School who committed to Nebraska. Ronstein, one of the top recruits in the country, as is Alec out of Waverly. Of course, for those two, Evans. Wow. 
And what a great <laughs> slide there to Stiverance. Just so quick, right in the seam. Blockers don't have a chance to close. You can see Jones staying. Or excuse me, that's Thompson getting held in the middle. And that's where Stiverance is so good. Over pass. Point for Nebraska goes off of the block and out. And Stiverance with another kill off the overpass. Maddie Kubik back to serve. Nebraska down by one. No touch, and Nebraska on a 3 0 run right now. And it's not at 18, and we have a challenge. Maryland is challenging. Adam Hughes, in his fourth season with the Terps, is going to challenge. See if there was a touch there or if it was in or out. Yep. Yep. You can Hames see the fingers. touch on the ring, right ring finger of Hames rattled it. And this, based on what we've seen, should be overturned. This is the better look. See that ring finger rattle as the ball goes by. Ames got a piece of it, and that did not take long. So the R2 Barry Boylock did not take long in the monitor, and call is reversed, and that gives the Terps a two-point advantage here, 19-17 in the second set. Ames out of the back row to Kubik. Great swing by Kubik, and she's starting to warm up here in the second. That is now 10 kills for Maddie Kubik. And again, that back row attack has really caused some challenges for the Terps. Just that timing, that difference, and, and again, delayed getting to the net has made a difference for Nebraska. Good up by Kubik. Sun bump sets. Sire with the swing and down. Sam Sire. Big swing there by Sire. That's her seventh kill in this match. She's kind of been streaky. Um, she's made some um, runs where she's had several kills and then she's had some errors. Here she has an opportunity and capitalizes. Tip. Lexi Sun with another kill. That's three for Sun. Great read by Lexi Sun there. The defense was sitting deep down the line. That big blocks up there. She, the uh, defense is sitting back there. Great read and forces the um, defense to pursue. Hames now to serve. She leads Nebraska with 24 aces on the season. Shanked pass there. Bunch of who got a swing on out of the back row. Hames recovers. And the point to Maryland. Cook does not like it. He wants to know exactly what that call was. Talking to the R2 is Nebraska assistant Tyler Hildebrand. <laughs> they want a challenge. <laughs> so now Nicklin Hames will walk over to talk to our R1. I don't think you can challenge yeah. this. I think they're questioning she has the right to go play that ball. And Jones came over the top to yeah. get it. And they're saying again, it's once it crosses that tape, it's fair for both teams to pursue. 
And Haynes is a back row player also. There is Sun, and she tools the block, and Sun gets her fourth kill of the match. Nice swing there by Sun on that right side. Does a great job using the outside hand to tool the ball off. Tight one here in set number two, 21-20. Terps have led most of the way here in set number two. Nebraska thought it had tied it up at 18. Roll shot, Hames is there. Kubik, great shot, deep corner by Kubik to even it at 21. Kubik just again provides that consistency. She gets off, you can see she's out, that nice black court. You can see her getting out wide to be able to drive in, and that allows her to have a lot of power and force behind that swing. Apple serve. Good swing by Raynell Jones. There is Kubik. Knocked down. Sire rolls it over. Bump set back to Sire again. Juice on that one from Sire. There is Kubik. Good rally here, even at 21 in set two. Team just tips it over. Bump set. Free opportunity. Good opportunity here for the Terps. Where do they go? Behind, one on one. Got it! Big swing by Layla Ricks. We're just seeing great play in here by that de defensive play again. Gomillion doing some great things. Nice finish there by Ricks. Those are big ones to win. The momentum energy is huge. John Cook takes his second and final timeout here of set number two, Huskers. Right, but you gotta credit your outside um, blockers too. They're doing a tremendous job setting up and really keeping the pressure on the Nebraska attackers. Raynell Jones, just phenomenal. Um, averaging 1.72 blocks, leads the conference. Uh, and continuing to do what she does best here tonight. Yeah, that 1.72 for Rennell Jones leads the country. Leads the nation in blocks per set and five kills, three blocks tonight for Rennell. So Nebraska takes the timeout after losing the long rally, 22-21. will go out to Kubik out of the timeout. Great up by Knuckles. Kubik again. Good angle, but great defensive play of the back row by Gomillion. Point, Maryland. They are two away from taking set number two. And defense, That's they're doing a tremendous job defense at the net and Gomillion in the back row. Three ball opportunity here for the Huskers. Ames behind her to win. No touch, and that's long on the hitting error on Nebraska. Next team just long. So Maryland has not won a set on the road against a team in the top half of the Big Ten Conference. They're about to do it here in Lincoln. And that goes just wide. 24-22. Rodriguez now back to serve. It'll be set point number two for the Terps. Looking for a side out. They're only siding out at 45%. Big block! <laughs> that was... Stiverens combining with Kubik, and it looked like Kubik got the hand on it. Yep, she did a great job pinching in and helping in that block, and that's what made the difference. Addy Kubik with the block. On the other side of the break, the Terps will have set point number three here in Lincoln. Two between the two teams. 33 minutes. Set point opportunity here for the Terps. Ames with the up. Another opportunity.
opportunity. Oh, good up by Rodriguez. Right back to Kubik. Off the block. Rodriguez keeps it alive. Stiverens pushes it over. Bump set back row swing from Sire. <laughs> Sire will swing it again. Here is Kubik. Just kind of rolls it over. Nebraska not letting it hit the ground here in this rally. And then Witt Lonstein <laughs> off the block and out. And we've got extras in set two. Just a great finish and strong move there by Lonstein. Nice swing and assertive and aggressive and gets the big point here. Rodriguez with the short serve again. Into the block, and that's Lonstein. <laughs> Freshman stepping up big in set two. Back to back points by Whitney Lonstein. And a timeout is going to be taken by Adam Hughes. Nebraska with the lead here at 25 24. The Huskers had not led in this set since it was one to nothing. So Whitney Lonstein inserted into the lineup midway through set number one, and she's had a couple of big back to back points. It just had a critical point, and again, she has also inserted some. In it was one to nothing, Nebraska on a 4 0 run right now. It was 24 21. Maryland had three set points that they failed to convert, and now Nebraska with its first set point here in set two. Down the line, it was wide, no touch. And the Huskers come from behind and take set number two. From Nebraska here late in the match. So ready to go here in the third. Nebraska on top, two sets to none. They won the first 25-11, the second 26-24. There are the numbers on Whitney Lonstein. Just what you want from an impact player coming in. We'll see again, she takes that energy she finished second set with and brings it to this third. Over pass, not down. Sun steps in to take the set. Long steam swing is long. it over and not down. And Sire gets the kill. Maryland with the first two here in set three. And Maryland doing a, a nice job getting, uh, controlling the ball. Nebraska getting some shots off, but again, the control of the ball has really led to uh, Maryland's success. Just wide on a rocket for Lonstein. She's so athletic and she gets in there so quick. Um, just, just missing her mark. I still love that she's coming out there, being aggressive, making some big swings. Four zero run for the Terps to open up set number three, and already early on, John Cook's going to take a timeout. Four points in, first time out already. Nebraska trails it.
Apologize for the technical difficulties. We are back now here at the Devaney Sports Center. 5-2. Terps John Cook is challenging the in out on the serve of Knuckles. Very close. Maybe we get a better look from this angle here. Not sure yeah. we can tell from that view. This is the best look that we have. Really close. Yeah. Maybe, is, it, is it defending? Yeah, I, I just say I don't know if there's enough there. So again, the call by the line judge was out. And difficult to see if players are staying up. <laughs> Let's see what the call is. And it was out. It stands. That is. So after that second intermission that we just had, with Lonstein with the kill from the right side. Lonstein doing a great job. Right here comes right off that, that long break and instantly gets a tip. And better swing there, that hand on top of the ball, use that wrist snap. She's been a little bit long, but there was some space there. So she did a really nice job finishing that with that off with that snap. Into the block and Stiverance. And Nebraska with its sixth block of the match. Neka Pruka, Pruka again inside trying to go take it underneath, but Stiverance right there. She's taking that angle completely away. Rodriguez with the serve, touches the tape. Rolled over, and a great up by Rodriguez, and a nice pass in system, and the kill for Maddie Kubik. That was big. Starts off with that incredible up by Rodriguez, popping up there. She just fires underneath that ball. She's so quick, and then Kubik with that nice quick swing and cut shot. So after the 4-0 start to this third set, Nebraska has now gone on a 3-0 run. 4-1 to even it at five. Good pass there from Knuckles to Stiverance. That's a Peruka with the swing. That's a Peruka. Gets the touch. She's really got a big block to deal with. And so working off the angles um, is, is really what she needs to do. Goes at that outside hand of Lowenstein. Four kills in the match now for Necha Peruka on 34 swings. She's had more attempts than anyone else hitting negative 118. As you mentioned, that's a lot of swings. She's on that outside and, and oftentimes in uh, situations where they're out of system. And the blocker's right there. Yeah, Necha Peruka from Coldig, Latvia. Transferred from Virginia Commonwealth. She'll get an opportunity here again. Pushes it over. Knuckles, up by Knuckles. Yeah, nice shot of control. Out of the back row, there's Sire knocked down. And Nebraska out of the back. First attempt for Knuckles since set number one, when she went back to back with kills. There's some great defense here by both of these teams. Both just really doing a great job being positioned, being pursuit of balls. What an up by Knock. So that was a ton of ball. That was. And then into the block. Long rally, and that brings him to the feet here at the Devaney Center. And everybody 
just, you just got to love the defensive plays. And again, making strong plays, pursuing balls, the fast feet, and look how the layout, that platform is flat underneath that ball, fires underneath that ball. And what a great finish for Nebraska with the big block, the cubic and Stiverens. Keani Leakana will serve. Tough serve by Akana. The slide, Stiverens off the block. And Stiverens with another kill. Nice tool shot there by Stiverens coming around that backside. I believe that's six for her. Hitting above 500. Five fifty-six, impressive. Another great up, and another great block. <laughs> We've seen so many blocks. That was Hannah Thompson. As many block touches and blocks as Maryland has had, it's interesting. You look yeah. at the numbers, and they're the, even at seven yep. piece. I was just looking at the human stats, and um, it is. But the key is to just the hands on the block, you know, on the ball, slowing it down, giving your defense the opportunity to step in and make that next play. And, and they are so good at doing that. Knuckles with another kill. That's her third of the match, tying her career high. She's that aggressive setter up in the net, likes to, likes to attack, and when that ball popped right up at her, she didn't hesitate for a second to push it back quickly. Kubik's doing a great job passing off serve receive, just kind of isolating my focus on her in serve receive, and she's just so solid. Serve is long from Stiverance. Lexi Finnerty now back to serve for the Terps. The 5'7 defensive specialist with 16 aces on the year. Cubic rolls that. Pops that one up. Done great job again. Five kills for Lexi today. Kubik just a great job getting that ball down, and Sun's got two blockers. Just the timing off a little, off the net a little bit. Blockers up a little bit early. That's the edge. Sire off the top of the block. That's an aggressive swing by Sam Sire, who averages three and a half kills per set. She's got eight in the match tonight. 12-9, Nebraska. Good night for Lauren Stiverance. She has six kills, 10 swings, hitting 600. Her to step in says we need you in a different role and it, it's kind of expanded not only the defensive side but again getting involved in the offense what a great night for her 800 hitting percentage six digs and four kills before tonight she had three kills in three different matches it came at Stanford against Iowa and against Illinois three kills in all three of those matches so a new career high here tonight for Kinsey Knuckles with four kills to that last point, there was no touch on the swing. 
from that left pin, point for Nebraska. And the Huskers on top, 12-9 here in the third. Into the block, I'm not sure if Jones cleared the net there, but Raynell Jones is shut down, and the Huskers up 13-9. As we mentioned, Jones a key part of this offense also as a middle. They really try to push it to her. Actually, earlier in the year, she had a double-double between blocks and kills. That's kind of a unique combination, but she actually had 12 blocks and 11 kills. So she is one of those players that does a lot for this Maryland spot. And Kubik out of the back row. Just the, the back row has been so effective in this match. Kubik also, I, I just love how she drives in. And, and the nice lead that Hames has right in front of that 10-foot line, take off behind and follow through. 4-0 run for Nebraska. Off the with Nicklin Hames, who just had a nice dig there. Great dig also. A big swing by Lonstein. And then this net violation called on Nebraska. Nechapruka yep. out of the back row. I, say, I think that was Nechapruka. And they utilize her from that back row position too, just that extra attacker. Oh, great swing there, nice spot in between the two blockers. Kathy right in there. Aims able to feed it right to her. Look at that nice gap, and she recognizes does a great job getting on top of the ball. Third kill for Kayla Caffey. She's hitting 375 in the match. Nebraska right now holding the Terps to a negative hitting percentage midway through set number three for the match. Nebraska tied with the Wisconsin Badgers for the lead in the Big Ten Conference, and there is another Kill for Knuckles out of the back row, and that is five now for Kinsey Knuckles. She just keeps coming at it. And as um, Kubik had to come in for that ball to play the defense on the ball, Hames right away added that element from the back row. Just finished the previous thought. 163 is the opponent hitting percentage against Nebraska. Nebraska and Wisconsin are tied for the conference lead. And Nebraska will certainly improve that tonight as Maryland hitting in the negatives. And there is Kubik again with another block, and that now is nine blocks for Nebraska, eight for Maryland. Just a great play by Kathy to react to that, and then Kubik being in her base position right away was ready. Nebraska has it rolling again here in set number three. They lead at 17-10. There's a great up by Caffey on the block by Maddie Cuban. Back here in Lincoln, the Bob Devaney Sports Center, Nebraska on top in set number three, 17-10. Maddie Kubik with another double-digit kill night. She has 13. We've just talked about her consistency throughout this season, and she's really stepped up and, and shown that again tonight. Every match, um, we, this would be again 14 out of 15 matches that she's hit those double-figure marks with kills. But I, when I watch Kubik, I look at all the other things that she does too. Obviously that stands out, but she's doing so many other things, whether it be in serve receive, stepping in on that block, doing some great things there as well. Um, it just become a very complete player and really kind of the anchor, I would say, for this Husker squad. Led Nebraska in kills in every Big Ten match. And there is Kenzie Knuckle hitting 833. Five kills on six swings for Knuckles tonight. And right into the block, Kayla <laughs> Caffey. Nebraska now with 10 blocks in the match. 
You know, as you mentioned, Nebraska's block, we talked about the Maryland block going into this, but the Nebraska block has really stepped up here. They actually are leading, I believe, 10 to nine in the blocking category. So doing a lot of work up at the net as well. And correct, that is 10 to eight on the blocks in Nebraska favor. Ricks with that kill, now back to serve as Sam Sire. 11 here in the third. Ronstein had a solo, goes off the hands. Back to her again, same situation, and she delivered that time. Second time, makes it work. Jones wasn't quite there, recognizes that, goes in that seam, really kind of pinballed it off of the blocker's hands. John Cook says Lonstein is still very raw, but boy, is she going to, her ceiling is so high. Well, I, I just love how athletic she is. Just watching her out there, her athleticism, and, and like you said, just once she gets refined, she's going to be able to do some really great things. But the other part I love that she's competitive and intensity. She's, got, she's gone out there. She hasn't been uh, tentative been strong in her play, isn't afraid to go up after it, and then also to celebrate with her teammates. Stimmerns off the top of the net finds the hardwood, and it's 2012 now, Nebraska on top. Stiverens just a stellar night for her as well. Seven kills out of 11 swings, and no errors. She's hitting 636 tonight. Just keeps She's just that workhorse in there. Good serve by Keani Lay. Awesome swing, but not down by Ricks. There's Cubic power to do it. Block coverage not quite there, but a big block on that right side for the Terps. Ricks and Thompson just have been really solid. At, they, they move in great synchronicity but also their ceiling, they're just very, both very strong as they push across and really just cap, you know, the space. Stiverns on the slide. Back on the swing by Kubik, she'll get another chance. No touch there, and point for the Terps. Different, excuse me, um, Cubic is such a good tool hitter, but um, the Terps have been doing a great job with that outer hand and not letting her really take advantage of them. Nebraska now four away from a sweep here at home. Hoping to move their record in the Big Ten Conference to 12 and three, tie the Golden Gophers for second in the league, one game behind Wisconsin. Wisconsin tonight plays the fourth place team in the league, which has beat them earlier this year in Purdue. Wisconsin's only two losses on the season to Maryland and Purdue. Big swing there by Sam Sires from the back row, but earlier just a big dig also by Gomillion. She is really um, fun to watch out on the court. Quick and just great feet to the ball, and she's in the right spot. Two back-to-back -back service errors. That one by Netrapruka. Hard to get things going. <laughs> So Stiverance had been serving, but Ani Evans will come in to serve for Stiverance. So here's the Waverly product. Ani Evans, 5'9", sophomore out of Waverly. Called into a setting role early in the year against K-State, led Nebraska from behind in that win over the Wildcats. That's when Nicklin Hames was still out with an injury. Nechaparuka with that 10-foot attack. 
finding that high hands, but also um, just doing a great job being consistent from that back row play. Is that her sixth kill? Big swing there by Lexi's son. Slices that. That's just the kind of tempo ball that she does so well. That she loves to have that kind of ball delivered to her, and it feeds right into her strength. Into the back line. Good swing by Nechaparuka. Right on yep. the line for Nechaparuka. Kubikin back there. Chose to let go. But... And in the ace. That's Sydney Dowler with the ace. 23-18. Lexi Sun, good dig in the back. And into the hands of Nebraska's Kayla Caffey. And match point upcoming for Nebraska, Kinsey Knuckles in to serve for it. Club set out to Cubic. And Cubic closes it out for Nebraska. Once again, the Big Ten Conference, Maddie Kubik leads the way.